All right, welcome back to the Blender 3 Doc Walk. This document is on how to use individual origin setting as your pivot point. So without further ado, let's jump right in. All right, so first thing we're gonna to wanna to do is just quickly duplicate this. Remember again, duplicate is Shift D for the selected item. So Shift D duplicates it once. How loud is that? That's pretty loud. Yeah, I really need to get an office. <laughs> okay, moving on. All right, we're gonna now select this guy and hold control down and drag it, whoops, hit G, I'm sorry, hold control down and drag it to here. Then I'm gonna select both of those, duplicate both of them, and just bring them over uh, right next to each other. Okay, so now we've got uh, four cubes here, and we are going to go down and select individual origins. So now, how this works is it simply just uses each object's individual origin, you know, as compared to say um, uh, the medium point, if I hit rotate, it's just going to rotate the whole thing according to the, you know, the median of, of all selected objects. All right. I think they're done for a second. Okay. So we're going to select, <laughs> just kidding. Well, let's, let's, I'll see if I can, do some noise reduction and, and see how much of that I can get rid of. Okay, we're going to select individual origins. And now when we hit R to rotate, each object rotates around its own individual origin. All right, so yeah, that's that. Uh, this works with uh, all, all transformations. Um, for instance, if we decide to scale it up, they each scale up according to their individual origins. Okay, so now we're going to go into edit mode. And I think you might have a... Here, I'm just going to undo these changes really quickly. I think you might already have kind of a good idea of how this is going to work in edit mode. Again, we're going to get rid of uh, three of these. Grab this guy, move him to the center for absolutely no reason other than <laughs> moving him to the center. Size it up a little bit. Okay, now we're going to go to edit mode by hitting tab. And uh, I'm going to select all of his vertices really quickly. Oh, select all of his vertices. Turn on X revision. And uh, subdivide it a couple of times, just like last time. And again, this has, you know, the just like in the um, bounding box center, as as the pivot point video, kind of how that worked can be translated into into uh, how this works. So in edit mode, uh, if you select either a side or an edge, I'm sorry, if you select an edge or a face when you use individual origins okay as your pivot point it calculates the median of of that you know particular area of your of your object so um, for instance the median here would be the very center of this face so if I hit R you can see that my uh, the dotted lining coming from my cursor goes to the very center of that uh, if we select an edge Okay, it goes to the very center of the edge. Now, um, if I select this right vertex, it's not just that vertex, it's that whole line because I have X-ray mode on. So if I rotate it from here, it's not gonna do anything. It's just, I mean, I guess technically it's doing something, but nothing that, uh, you know, is going to cause any changes in our scene. But if I rotate it from the side, if I rotate it from you know, from this, looking at it on this angle, uh, we will get um, a def deformation here. So just be aware of that. Um, okay, going back to the top view. Now I'm going to grab this and this at the same time. Now, because they are separate, right? Separate edges. And if I hit R for rotation, uh, each one will rotate separately according to uh, the median point calculated for each separate face or each separate edge. Uh, same thing goes for a face. And if I select right four vertices or because we have X around, it's actually eight here. And I hit R, um, it's calculating the median of, of it as a face or you see what I'm saying? Not technically as a face, it's just, it's simply calculating the median of, um, of the, the four vertices, but it's recognizing kind of that it is a, single coherent face. So as long as there's coherence between 
like, you know, vertex to vertex. For instance, if I select these four as well and hit R, it's going to rotate it as a single unit. See, there, there's no individual um, uh, median calculated for each each face because they are literally connected right here in the in the center. However, uh, if I, you know, if I do this and this, now they will rotate in, uh, independently, individually. But notice where my where my pivot point is. It's kind of oddly off and up towards the top left square. And there's a reason for this. And let me explain. Because we are calculating medians and because I do have x-ray on, if I look at this from the side, you will notice, okay, that this group of vertices over here, from the top, each one is two on top of each other, right? So each, what appears to be a single one from, you know, top orthographic view is actually two. Uh, one on the bottom, one on the top. But here in the corner, we see that this one and this one line up and there's just, you know, two of those. But when we get to uh, around the edges, we've got uh, four, five, five. We've got five down each row. One, two, three, four, five. So because the uh, median is calculated using all selected vertices, and because median is not even close to the same thing as an average, it offsets it. Okay, it it offsets it. Instead of having our um, having our pivot point here, right where you would you know assume it would be in if if this was just two. Uh, two tiles or two faces being rotated because there are, are there's a larger grouping of vertices over here um, it it counters that and and it pulls us towards that direction which is why when I hit R right our our uh, pivot point is actually quite close almost almost touching almost touching the top left um, uh, collection of vertices and you know, as always, like if you hit two for for faces and and you select a face, right? It's 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 the same thing. It's still it's still using the vertices of that, or I'm sorry, of that edge, not face, of that edge, uh, to to calculate the median between the two connected vertices. And if I hit three for uh, for face, right, same thing. It's still using the vertices to calculate the median, which means we're still going to have uh, that same effect if we do this see all right so if I select you know these four uh, these four these four and these four obviously this group is going to be you know treated as as a contained uh, unit likewise so with this one and this one and this one and they'll all pivot around the medium point calculated for each each uh, collection of vertices However, this is actually a pretty cool uh, little technique for a variety of different tasks. So if we rotate it, you know, you can, you can give it uh, a little twist or, or whatever you're planning on doing, how, whatever you're trying to create. Or you can scale it, which can, you know, lead to, you know, a variety of different designs or, or uh, shapes that you can build. So, um, yeah, just just thought I would kind of add that in there. Uh, the documentation kind of covers something quite similar here, so um, just embedding it in here. It's it's pretty cool, and it, it can lead to some pretty cool designs if you if you're trying to work something out that's kind of trippy and and looks pretty cool. So especially if you're doing kind of like a cargo boxes for a spaceship or that sort of thing, this kind of this kind of technique can really help with that sort of a sort of a look. Uh, this with some extrusion and a few other things but anyway without going on a tangent uh, that that I believe is that all right so that was uh, using individual object origins as your pivot point I will see you guys in the next video which talks about using the median point of your selection as your pivot point as always thank you for watching like share and subscribe I will see you guys in the next video